I'm, I'm not a firefighter, but both my brothers were, and I know the risks that they take on. It's the battle firefighters face every day that many of us don't see. Cancer. Travis Horn, spokesperson for the Hillsborough County Firefighters Union, lost his brother, Lieutenant Michael Wayne Horn, to melanoma. And his other brother, Lieutenant James Farrenhorn, is currently fighting the deadly disease. Just like anyone, you're scrambling to cover funeral costs and things like that and um, make sure that everything's paid and paid in a timely fashion. There's a lot of added stress on the family. On Monday, Florida firefighters diagnosed with cancer will be getting some much needed help as Senate Bill 426 goes into law, providing firefighters who are battling cancer with several benefits, including full cost of treatment, a $25,000 payout, disability pay, and death benefits for beneficiaries. Horn tells me he, along with his family, have pushed to make this a reality. This hidden risk, this hidden danger, we never really acknowledge the society. Um, and I think that now we are saying, hey, we know this is something that you have to worry about, and we're going to stand by you and have your back. Each day, firefighters are exposed to toxins and carcinogens that can generate life-threatening smoke. The new law would treat cancer and cancer deaths like on-the-job injuries and deaths. Back in the day, the firefighters used to wear it as a badge of honor that their bunker gear, their turnout gear would be dirty and smoky and, you know, all have all kinds of uh, soot on it. But nowadays, they understand that leaving that on there and letting it touch your skin and get on your skin can activate some of these cancers. We don't want other firefighters to have to fight to get their benefits and this is certainly uh, opening the door to ensure that they won't have to fight. In Tampa, Serafina Brooks, 8 on your side.